Now, the lap joint shown is fastened by four rivets of 3 fourth inch diameter. So, one, two, three, four. So, you have two uh, laps, and uh, they are connected by four uh, rivets. Find the maximum load P. That can be applied if the working stresses are 14 KSI for the shear in, in the rivet and 18 KSI for the bearing in the blade. Assume that the applied load is distributed evenly among the four rivets and neglect friction between the plates. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Also, mark the like button, comment, and share our video, and you get 10 years of good luck. Try it, it works. Alright, without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so you have to find the maximum blow P that can be applied into this uh, lap joint with the conditions of the shear uh, stress and the bearing stress. Okay, let me move this up a little bit. All right, so you are given the, you are given the uh, shear. So shear of the bolt is equal. Uh, I will call it the bolt or, or the rivet. It's up to you. So the shear of the bolt is equal to the shear stress is equal to the shear force divided by the area of the bolt. So the area of the bolt is pi over four times three four squared because it's a, circ a circular bolt. Of course, you know that it's equal to the maximum shear stress, which is fourteen thousand ksi. We are given that number. Then I can find V, which is 6185 pounds. And remember that this shear force is the shear force for the whole thing. So, which is the shear force of 1, 2, 3, 4 rivets. Both, uh, four rivets. So, now let's do the test. So, because you are given two conditions. The working, uh, the shear stress and the, the bearing stress. So we have to test to see which one has, which one fail first to find the normal, to find the force P. So let's test for the case that the rivet fail first. So P, oh, the shear force equal the P, the force divided by four. Okay, so you have six thousand one hundred eighty-five divided by four. You get P equals fifteen forty-six pounds. That is the force when, that is the maximum force you can get when you, uh, that is the maximum force you can apply to get the maximum sh shear force, uh, a maximum shear stress. Okay, now if the blade fails first, so, so the the bearing stress equals the force P divided by the area. And in this case, the force P is divided into four because you have four rivets in the area. Now, be careful for this one. The area for the plate is this one. So I don't know if you can imagine it. Shear force is the, the force that T that make the rivet fail or break. So uh, let me see if I can uh, illustrate it. I have only one race over here. Okay, so so you have two. So this is the plate and the other plate, okay? So, and you have a rivet. So it's drill to, uh, to connect these two plates. So the shear force is the force that remained uh, that uh, parallel to the plate. So that force is along the the rivet or the bolt. So imagine this is the bolt. It goes through this plate and this plate. So the shear force is the force along this surface area. Okay. So it it can break this one. That makes it break. That force makes uh, this one break. Okay. So the surface area around this one. That force break this one into two. Okay. So that is a shear force, a shear stress. Now, what is the bearing stress? The bearing stress is happen when this one is tear along. So when I pull this, uh, when I pull this away, this blade will stay. This uh, this rivet will not fail. Okay. 
but the blade will fail and it it tear the e the material along the rivet. Okay, I don't know if you can imagine it. So you will have. So if I have a rivet right here, another rivet right here, and if you tear it along like this, oh, I, I have a better explanation if I use paper. Yeah, that's a good idea. So if I use a paper, uh, if I tear it, so uh, let me make it harder because I can't. So this is there we go. So this is a rivet. It used to tighten this into the the table below. Okay, and if I pull, if I use a fork to pull this over. Okay, watch right here. You see that? So it's tear the paper from here to here. Uh, the rivet will not fail, but the paper fell, and this crack right here is the result of the bearing stress. Okay, hope that makes sense. So back to the problem. So you have to find the area of this bearing stress of this failure. Okay, so this area is the thickness times area. So uh, the thickness times the diameter. Diameter. The diameter is of this failure is the diameter of the rivet, which is three fourths, and the thickness of the plate is seven eighths. Okay. So I have P over four divided by seven over eight times three over four equals eighteen thousand pounds. So for P, I got forty-seven thousand two hundred fifty pounds. Okay, so this force is less than this force. So your maximum force is fifty uh, one thousand five hundred forty-six pounds because when you reach this force, it will reach the shear stress first. And if you exceed this fault, the rivet will fail. It will break into half, right? So the rivet will break into half before the plate will be tear out. Okay. All right. So this is your final solution. That's if you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.